This episode brought to you by the Major League Baseball Home Run Derby, because this one's a long one. 41 minutes, guys, so buckle up. We got a lot to cover here. We got trade deadline. We got simming. We got two games to show you, plus Home Run Derby action. Yeah, I think we established that at the beginning with the Home Run Derby. <laughs> From Reyes against Pete Alonso in the first round. Did they do that on purpose? I think that they did. Guys, we actually made an agreement here. So whoever advances out of this round is going to get a dev upgrade. I, I'm used to Madden talk here. But potential boost for any player in the organization. That's what's at stake here. You've got 17 for Pete Alonso. You're inside the bonus time here. Hopefully you can get another home run here. What did you yeah, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I, I think that's an okay number, right? It's pretty good, man. It's 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 pretty good. I don't One know more? if I'm gonna be able to hit 17 home runs. From the race, having himself a ridiculous campaign. I don't think I'm gonna get to 17. But there you go. So 17 is your final number. Let's see where we're at here with Fran Reyes, who's got 31 bombs at the All-Star break. Just ridiculous. But that 70 RBI total could be a little bit better. We're not just not getting on base for him. Uh, we have 11 here with 20 seconds. We need to get another home run, 440 plus, to get into the bonus. 12 seconds, and now we're hitting foul balls. That was a big miss there. So it's official. Pete Alonzo will advance to the next round. So you get to choose out of your entire org who you're going to get a potential increase for. Difficult choices to make, but yeah, we want to win this thing, but we're going to hit 14 in round two. So I don't think that's going to be enough. I mean, Corey Seager hit 19. Yeah, so we are going to go ahead and simulate his appearance, and he will end up getting 15. So he beats you and advances to face Jordan Alvarez. And, of course, Jordan Alvarez is just a beast. and He always wins it. Yeah, he's going to win that championship right there. So home run derby champ will be Jordan Alvarez. If you guys picked that in your channel points. I don't even think I asked that. So, no, you probably didn't pick that in your channel points. But uh, for those that were picking channel points, you got Pete Alonzo. You were correct in that. Now, taking a look at the AL All-Stars rotation, Jose Urquidy is a Buffalo Saucer representative here. I believe you have more than one player that's going to make an oh, yeah. appearance in the All-Star game. He's having his best season with Buffalo by far. 17 quality starts, and I think out of 19 games that he started... 18 games. So that's one nuts. start, he was not given a quality start. That's that. That's just nuts. It's yeah. insane. Uh, Jose Leclerc was selected, 18 saves. Eh, kind of questionable. I mean, I don't know why necessarily they really wanted Jose Leclerc, but, I mean, he's pitching okay. He'll take it. Let's take a look at the batting order here. We got Tucker, Altuve, Alvarez, yeah. Pete Alonso. It's the obvious one. Anybody on the bench here? We got Daniel Oldham, a custom player for the Detroit Tigers. A potential 83 overall player. Got good contact numbers. Really bolstering his case to be like one of the top players in the league in the next few seasons. Already matched his season total from last year. 334 compared to 244. He's having a, a ridiculous season in his sophomore campaign. Now, for the NL All-Stars rotation and the bullpen, we don't have anybody from the Sun Sox. Taking a look at the batting order here, what do we got going on? We got Framil Reyes and David Von David, if you guys saw that. So a rookie from the Chicago Cubs. But just want to talk real quick about Framil Reyes. He's up to an 80 overall player, 29 years old, so he's just like hitting his prime. He's slugging it's, 600 this year. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but David Von David, 18 bombs in his rookie campaign. Yeah, he's having himself a really nice uh, season there for the Cubbies. So in gameplay, we are going to actually take control of our guys. We're going to go into quick manage for the rest of the game, but we will show you some of our gameplay highlights here. Reyes against Shane McClanahan. He's just going to challenge him. Mono y mono, fastball, fastball, fastball. Romil's out of the like he's done. <laughs> like he just ate him up. Pete Alonso, by the way, got out. A little pop fly to center field. Now, Shohei Otani is going up against David Von David, the rookie. Yeah. I also like that Ryan Yarbrough was oh, good an point. All-Star, former Buffalo Saucer that we got rid of. He's in double digits and wins right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty crazy. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty bad. But David Von David against Otani. This is a battle. 
It's no Mike Trout versus Otani, but it's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. Look at this. Full count. He's worked him full, and he's hanging in there. 98 mile an hour fastball. Just spoiled it away. Little curveball. He's going to spoil that one, too. So Von David just keeps on fighting. He's going to spoil that one as well. This guy just keeps battling and battling. Another foul ball. Nine pitches for Otani here, and he finally wears him down. Four seamer, just a little off the plate. Would have been ball four, but man, I, I like to give the rookie some credit there. Reyes is going to swing and a miss here, unfortunately, to Otani. Can't figure that out either. 5 nothing game here for the <sighs> American League, and Alonzo going to offer it that one. I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> it wasn't a very good swing, for sure. But Jose Urquidy comes in in the fifth inning, shuts down Ian Happ in that potential run scoring situation there for the NL. Daniel Oldham going to line out here at a shortstop. That's Francisco Lindor. We're starting to get some, some look here at our guys. Jose LeClerc is now out to face MJ Melendez. He's got him down 0-2. see what LeClerc's going to draw up here. A little slider high and inside. And Kirk is what? The big man. Or <laughs> Alejandro Kirk. What was that? That's called the Bob Slide. <laughs> <laughs> the Kirk Sled. Look at the, the tube. The tube. Oh, that's great. But look at this matchup. We got LeClerc against Fran Mill. Ooh. Me versus you. I forgot that this happened, honestly. It's been a a while ago. Ooh, good pitch. Oh. Circle change. I wasn't thinking that at all. I, I don't even remember doing that. This is honestly a little preview because we got Sun Sox versus Saucers later in this episode. Ooh, and Reyes is down on strikes. So gotcha. there you go. Now Rizzo's going to camp underneath this, make this catch, and LeClerc threw two innings pitched in an All Star game. Feels pretty good to get back out there. AL will win the All Star game out here in. Los Angeles, despite wearing the Seattle Mariners uniforms for the All-Star game. Yeah, or the Seattle Mariners-esque feel. You get it, but... Well, Alonzo was one for three in that game. So he did okay. <laughs> I didn't capture his hit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where Maybe it went. It, was simmed. I don't, I don't know. it might have been simmed. might have been quick managed. But your kitty gets the hold, and it doesn't really count. Hold zero. NL All Stars, nothing really right home out about for our guys. Fran Mill with three strikeouts today. <sighs> he went over three with three Ks. And that was all you. Yeah, it was all me. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Ryan Yarbrough gets the loss. That's why I didn't win the home run derby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, let's turn our attention over here to the Saucers against the Sun Sox. We love this rivalry out here, man. It's going to be a tough one for us. You guys always seem to have our number we're gonna go with the left-hander benjamin smith he is three and four this season his first start of the year some pretty decent numbers 60 plus strikeouts he's gonna get another one here kiner falefa gonna swing and miss there from the first out in the first yes yeah, I, I strike out a lot with him hmm. 16 inches of break or 13 inches of break actually it's a lot but that four seam fastball at 87 he doesn't throw gas but it's just enough to where it's going to throw you off a little bit with those slow breaking balls 3 and 0 to Pete Alonso we're not really messing with you i don't want to give up a solo shot here i don't want to okay. get into a deficit so 3 1 pitch upcoming you've got to be a little bit crafty and you're not going to offer you did not even take the bat off your shoulder cuz you knew i knew Max Stassi! No! This guy, <laughs> God, it's every game against him. What a shame, because I would have scored a run there. Well, that's why we have him. That's why I got those low walls. Yeah. Low walls, you save some runs, man. <laughs> oh, no, oh. we have a pass ball here. Nope, not going to go. Chicken down. Lines are going to stay there at third base, and Stassi at second. DeAndre Clayton. In a full count situation here, lefty on righty. He is going to check his swing. McIntosh will grab it. Take the throw over to first, and the inning is over. So the threat subsides. Will Crow is making a bullpen day appearance. <laughs> He's got a 7 ERA. It's called the opener. He's the opener. And so far, not off to an amazing start. Let's get a runner on base here with the second guy up, and then Berger strikes <sighs> out against Crow. It's kind of a tougher pitch. It was kind of crafty there. Circle change right there. And then a fastball hitting 97 on Fran Mill. Hmm. 
you knew that I had a three strikeout game in the All-Star game against him, so or with him. So there you go. But Adonis with a nice dive. He's gonna boot it though. A little boot. Base hit. Dylan Beavers chopper. No! Throws high. And we're safe. So we got one out, two runners on. We're gonna call that an error. Yep, error on the pitcher. 0-2 pitch here, Lugo, ground ball, nice throw over to Hunter, over to first, double play. He's in danger. <laughs> Who's in danger? Iglesias. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit tired of his antics hitting situation here. Mm -hmm. So That double play could have possibly cost you. We'll find out, we'll find out. I called him up to the manager's office and he said, I am the danger. And I said... The batting average is in danger. I said, no, you're in danger. I said, I am <laughs> Base it here for Dylan Moore. Base it here for Paul McIntosh. Seems like he's going to be a problem for you guys. But, uh-oh, Dylan Moore running to third. And what a gun by McCutcheon. Still got it. <laughs> Unreal. I thought that we had this bag. Yeah, Probably could have gone to the outside. Unreal. But 1-1 pitch here to Adamus. And how in the world did Big Man, the polar bear, how did he get up there? <laughs> what is that? He, he, he got up. He, he got, got that up. Fernando Tatis cat-like uh, jump. Pretty Just cool. ridiculous. Hey, Dylan Clayton. Moore. Oh, oh, it's through. How did he do? Dylan Moore is an adventure, man. Dating back to the last episode, he's an adventure out there in right field. Hunter with the cutoff. Lugo with the catch at third, but Clayton... On with a one-out triple. That does not bode well for us. Line drive, McCutcheon, base hit over Colas's head. Should score the run, it will. McCutcheon getting to the second. RBI double for the Saucers. They stake out to an early one nothing lead here in the fourth. Benjamin Smith's got to get this thing figured out. Yeah, a bit of a defensive swing there with two strikes. Carl Edwards comes on for this. Let's talk about the job of Will Crow. You know, with a seven ERA, he went three innings for you. He's better than that. He was good. He was good. Edwards Jr. pops in and gets three straight outs. Good showing. Jordan Hicks comes on, gets a strikeout on Connor Flava. What What are you doing? You're trying to hit 100 miles an hour We're bunting on a bunt? We're bunting with two strikes. <laughs> It's just that's what you wouldn't expect. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Well, the odds of us getting a base hit are pretty low. Oh, go, baby. Go, baby. Go. Get out of here. Paul McIntosh off the wall. We got 79 speed Wait, out there. Yes, sir. That's going to score a run. Nice job, Paul McIntosh. Bite off a piece of that apple. It's always a two yeah. outs. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. always a two outs. It's <laughs> called drama. Hicks is going to strike out Alonzo. Nice circle change, high and in. Thought fastball, possibly. Max Stassi got a decent pitch to hit. Another circle change. Jordan Hicks is messing with you guys. Here's good timing. You're thinking about Shots fastball. Thunder. Look at that. 100. Triple digits on DeAndre Clayton. Swing and a miss. Jared Schuster. I don't think you're doing a smart thing. Here. Jared Schuster against Fraud Mill. Oh, no. That's definitely not a matchup you wanted with two down. Fronmill will try to go to second, but the guys, I'm not kidding you. The game pulled him back. I'm literally holding L1. I'm like, go to second, go to second. And yep. he pulled back. Yep. Unreal. Yep. That could like cost us this game. You have to get to second base. But Lugo will fly out to left. He put a good swing on it. It's just it just changes the entire at bat right there. So McCutcheon's actually going to take a seat to Bryce Ball. We still got Jordan Hicks out there to be his 21st pitch upcoming. Nice little sinker pitch out there, low and away. Bryce Ball can't handle it. Another sinker, low and away. Well, he's having a breakout campaign here, hitting 311. You like him? Yeah. I don't know how you got a hold of that. I don't know. A slider barreling in? That's ridiculous. 2-2 Two -two pitch, Hicks to Ball. Swing and a miss. Got him. Goodbye. It's tough. Sit down, boy. Logan O'Hoppy. Good piece of that one, but it's, it's low. Good job, Lugo. We're out. So the Nardi dog comes in. The Nardi. Andrew Nardi. 2-0 against left-hander Dylan Beavers. He will get the strikeout. We're through seven. Let's go to the bottom of the seventh, see if we can do anything. 
Marcano is going to take over in right field. And Colas steps up to the plate. 1-1 pitch here from Schuster. Ground ball back to Schuster on the mound. Makes a nice easy throw. So Colas, again, continuing to struggle. Did hit a home run in the last episode. So, oh, speak of home runs, <laughs> James Hunter. That baby's gone. Sun Sox take the lead on one swing of the bats. Bad pitch. It was a bad pitch from Schuster. Lefty on righty. I don't know what you're thinking. He is the long in He's the long relief guy. He's an innings eater. Okay. I see. Here's Kiner Falefa. Ooh, a chopper. I'm getting on base. Nothing you can do about that one. Oh, God. Nardi made a good play there. That's always tough for a left-hander. Right-handers, they can just feel it right in front of them, make the play. But, yeah, that's tough. Jong Hu Lee, deep fly ball. Out to left. Coloss with one down, make the play. Get this thing back in. 70 speed, you're not going to you're not gonna get him, but it would have been cool. But now is a tough situation here. Lefty on Pete Alonzo. We definitely have to make the call here. Paul Seawald will come into the game. He's got a 2-4-5 ERA. He's get, been getting some more run here lately, but... Oh, we tracked that one. God didn't dang we? it. We didn't, didn't we? We did not want Alonzo to beat us. And I think he just beat us. 463 foot bomb first pitch not in home run derby 463 first pitch yeah it was fastball we we read it the whole way total zen moment for me honestly. <laughs> it really was i just see ball hit ball oh there boom oh my god it's depressing paul seawall has just not been playing a lot through simulation and we finally get him into gameplay and he just does that he gives up the lead alonzo the two-run shot Let's go Max Stassi. Swing and miss at that one. He definitely wanted that one to put in the seats. But Chad Green will come on, guys, in the bottom of the eighth inning. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Adamas. And we've got problems out in right field. Marcano and Dylan Moore both with errors here. Adamas rolls into second. He knows he doesn't have a ton of speed, so he's got to stop there. A leadoff double gets us back in the ball game here. Ooh, God Burger. Dang it. Oh, so Framil Reyes is our last chance here, it seems, in the eighth inning. Oh, my. Framil, a two-run shot. The All-Stars are duking it out here. Framil Reyes home run. Pete Alonso home run. Of course, this one didn't get out as far as Pete's did, but 370 still counts. It's a two-run shot. Sun Sox take the lead now. Bottom eight. Yeah, I mean, it's it's called the drama engine. <laughs> now, <laughs> I mean, it's drama. Come on. It's drama. Come on. 0-2 oh, right. pitch here. Seawald still in the game. Oh, Hoppy swings and misses, and the Sun Sox will take care of business every day. Yeah. I can't, I can't do much talking. Like, you guys, it's been a very even battle. This little we, rivalry we played between pretty good me. today, but, yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, Wish I could have that one pitch back. Yeah, same. Same. Then we wouldn't have been in that situation. But, man, top eight, Alonzo hits the two-run shot. Bottom eight, Fran Mill responds. Like, we might have a little rivalry yeah, here between we, those we two guys. We had 12 strikeouts. Mm-hmm. Will Crow, three and a third, scoreless. Pretty good. And you only struck out four times, so you're better at making contact than I am. Yeah, McIntosh went three for three, had a ribby. Adama said... A two for game, and Framil Reyes went two for as well. So you guys actually won in simulation for game two. We're going to show you guys game three. And you're calling up Blake McKnight from double-A to triple-A. I think that's the right move, man. He's an 80 overall. Got to do it. Elroy McGowan pitching really well. 116 and 21 walks. That's ridiculous. I think he's ready. He's ready for triple-A. Now you guys are calling up Ryan Pepio. We were able to keep Pepio. 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 You keep reminding everyone about that. But now, like, you're making a call here. So you called up Pepio, and due to that, you're going to designate Iglesias for assignment. I mean, he's not hitting. Like, I want him to be that, like, 280 guy, and it's just not happening. Well, now we have the call to make as well. We've got Wilkerson's hitting well. We've got Mason Howard's hitting well. But, again, he's had chances. He's had opportunities up here, a couple of them, actually, and he just hasn't gotten it done. So... We are going to move Colas down as well because he's starting to struggle a little bit. Probably needs to hit the reset button. 
and we're calling up Brody Boatwright, one of the top 50 prospects in the major leagues. He is actually the number one prospect in the major leagues. Is he? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. <laughs> Brody Boatwright. I saw it on the bottom line. The number one prospect in the majors. Got to get the call here. His major league debut, hitting 320 down there in the AAA level. Got a good pitcher behind him. He's going to be starting in center field as well. So there's a lot of pressure on him today because we do have to win this series against those darn old saucers. We've got Tyler Glass now coming on here with a strikeout. Three straight pitches. Two strikes here on Jung Ho Lee. He spoils the immaculate inning, by the way, because we did get a three-pitch strikeout on Pete Alonzo. So, you know what? I'm still going to call that immaculate. I don't care. We were right. perfect in that inning. The Ryan Pepio show has arrived. Against Brody Boatwright. Let's see what he's got, man. Fastball, high and away. He will be smart and take the ball. 1-0 pitch upcoming. Here's Pepio. Ah. Base knock. We got a perfect, perfect... The first swing for Brody Boatwright in his Major League debut. How about that? Nice. Congratulations, young man. First Major League hit. He's going to make. He, he's gonna be great for us, I think. Bill Hasselman's going to keep the ball for him. Oh, nice and strike him out, throw him out. So much for the perfect start. Yeah, not great. We read it all the way, oh. sir. All the way. We had you dead to run. Freaking Max Stassi, dude. He's constantly killing me. Constantly. 0-1 pitch to Eric Hosmer. Turned on that one, but deep fly ball. Justin Henry. Malloy. We'll make the catch. Let's jump to the second inning here. We got Bryce Ball against hey. Tyler Glass now. Deep drive. Could Boatwright make a catch? No. Get what out of a, here. Would that have been amazing? What home run for Bryce Ball, <laughs> number 12 on the year. You don't think that would have been? I told you. His breakout campaign. You don't think that would have been amazing if Brody no. Boatwright would have caught that I ball? I do not. Mm. Okay. He, this dude is huge. Yeah. Six foot six. Bryce Ball's been big for you, man. It was a good trade. I was just saying physically. Well, I mean, Performance-wise, he's been big, too. Acquiring him from the Chicago Cubs. But Glass now will continue to K up the saucers. Let's slice and dice them. Framiel's going to strike out here as well. Evan Carter here with two down. And Jungle Lee makes a really beautiful play out there in left field to nab him. And let's jump here to the bottom of the third inning. We've got Kiner Flaith out in short, but an error. So James Hunter finds himself on first base. We've got another stolen base attempt here. We continue to challenge Max Stassi, but he's going to gun us out again. He's two for two. You got to get a bigger lead, man. I think that's got to be what it is. It's got to be the solution here. Pete Alonso, swing and a miss. John Hulley, swing and a miss. Glass now, just slicing and dicing everybody up, but. That's another base knock for Bryce Ball. Let's see if Boatwright can cut this thing off. He does. Oh, we got a play at second base here. It's a one hopper to second. Bryce Ball is gunned out. Brody Boatwright. What a gun. What a debut. I already don't like this guy. I love this guy. Look at the tag from Adamas. That's the other end of that. 3-0 pitch upcoming, and Willie goes deep. That baby's gone. Tie ball game. Adamas with the 3-0 pitch to saying red light. No, we got green light the whole way. Don't swing at my 3-0 pitches. <laughs> Here's a ground ball to Errol Robinson, and I don't know what the hell he's doing. What are you doing? He, he had the dive. He corralled the baseball on the dive, but the game said, let's do a little bit more animation here. Don't just get up and throw. Run to the foul line and then make the throw. I think he could have had him. 0-2 pitch here to Malloy. Swing and a miss. That was a great pitch to hit. Last now left it there for you. Yeah, I was trying to anticipate too much. Oh, hey, Marcano. Oh, it's a gapper. It's a gapper. And let me guess, he goes over the wall even though I would have scored. <laughs> so, yeah, with two outs, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Lugo makes the toss. You only get one run. I deserve a run. You, you should. Do. You should let me score. You do. It's true. It's true. It's I'm not gonna let you score. Let me steal home. P. Alonzo. Oh man, that low enough. The breaking ball is outside. I cannot lay off with him for some. I want to hit the ball. With heat. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough situation. 
But we do get out of the last, next couple of innings here. We got Adamas with a little slow roller to Clayton, but Alonzo's there with the pick. He could be in line for a gold glove, depending on how he's doing there in simulation. But Glassdown's going to get Clayton. Okay, here's the problem with Clayton. Outside. <clears throat> cannot hit outside pitches with Clayton. A lot of you guys can't. That's, that's an issue. That's going to do it after Nick Senzel. It's an infield single and Tony Perez Chica. Our manager going to go out and go get Glass now. His day is done. He will finish the day with 12 strikeouts. Uh, that's pretty good. Miguel Castro, seventh inning, go, going up against Malloy. I thought we got a good piece of that one. I guess the game says I didn't. So let's go to the bottom seventh. We got Reyes versus Pepio. Why did I leave Pepio in the game? I don't know, because he's a starter, and that's what starters do. <laughs> All right, Paul McIntosh down 0-2. He's going to take that fastball. That's a tough pitch to take, but he'll lay off. 1-2 pitch. Pepio still in the game. You thought about relieving him, but he's still out there. Yeah. Senzel is all the way to the wall. Fran Mill's got to churn and burn that 42 speed. Come on, baby. Going to score from first. An RBI double, game tying RBI double by Ryan McIntosh, and everybody is pumped up for that swing and that base hit. I you're saying everybody's getting down in this town. They're never going to be the same. It ain't. Okay, Jose Cisnero comes in. Maybe I should have come, uh, you know, put him in maybe a batter or two previously. May have been a smart idea. He's got a pretty nasty sinker. Evan Carter going to offer at that and swing and a miss. Lugo also that another sinker pitch, and he's going to pop it up. End of the seventh inning. Let's go top eight. Castro had it three and two. Marcano's going to take it. He's going to wear it. Kind of like that pitch. Yeah, he's struggling. Struggle, struggle, struggle. 0 2 pitch. Lee going down. So winging. Slider. Tough pitch to hit. Pete Alonso against Miguel Castro. What are we going to do? Are we going to leave Castro in? We will. This is a huge situation. Huge situation. I cannot understate this. <sighs> yeah, of course. Slider. We got to we gotta be shooting for that. Got to kind of work around how we're trying to set you up here. Are you going to be looking for that low and outside slider? Or are you going to look for something in? We're going in. And it looks like a slider coming out, but it breaks in, and it's just it's just tough to lay off. We got you 0-2. So what's coming next? Doing. What's coming next here, Pete? Ooh. Good eye. I'm getting smarter. Good eye, Petey Alonzo. 1-2 pitch. We could go anywhere at this point. Go anywhere. Castro with the 1-2. Slider outside. Totally missed McIntosh. Just a bit outside. Unbelievable. We're going to let Marcano get to second base. So 2-2 two, two pitch with two down. Alonzo. Throw me a low and outside slider. I'll swing mm, We're going to throw this in the dirt, but off to third? No, you pull back. Smart decision there. Full count. Did we just walk you? I thought I had you, but we do have Bryce Ball, the lefty, against a righty here. Castro coming up next. If we don't get you, we got to get you. 3-2 pitch. Sinker. Low and inside, just off the plate, and Alonzo cannot wrap his hands around. We remain tied, 2-2. Here's Brody Boatwright. We haven't seen him in a couple of innings. And ground out, and that's the end of the eighth inning. All right, let's go to the top of the ninth. Stassi, drawing a walk. Castro's still out there. Possibly have to consider a reliever at this point. Ooh, clean night. I would see I was ready for an outside pitch. Yep. Yeah. Take it the other way. Got runners first and second with one out. 1-0 one count on Senzel. That's going to drop. Got to be a strong throw from Carter. We're not going home. Mm, good decision there. That was right on the money. All right, so bases are juiced. We got to get somebody else in here. Adrian Morion. 10 ERA. And we're putting this guy in with one down and bases loaded. Right, we're going to plug in Andrew McCutcheon. Probably a, I should have thought about McCutcheon. I should have thought about it. Takes the strike. Well, I mean, Malloy can hit lefties a little bit too, so maybe I should have saved McCutcheon for the next batter. But I wanted McCutcheon to get this opportunity with one out. You know, who knows? Go home, go home, play, whatever. How did you take that pitch? So we got one-two count. McCutcheon is 
raring to go. How did you take that? The Good stress on. right now is just is killing me here. One, two, curveball! Ah. That's a gutsy pitch, man. That's a gutsy pitch. A curveball, I mean, you can do one or two things on that. Ground out, get on top or get underneath it, a little pop-up. Curveballs are hard to square up. So Morion gets the K, and now we got to go up against another catcher that you love to hit with, is Ohapi. I like my right-handed catchers. A one pitch upcoming here to Ohapi. He's going to take this one, circle change, just outside and off the plate. One one pitch here, Morion, clutch situation here. Can he get it done? Four seamer just off the plate. Blue did not give us the call. 2-1, ground ball oh. to Robinson. Make the play, baby. Over to first. We're out of the jam. Woo! Definition of a jam. Yes. <laughs> a major, major jam. So defensive realignment here happening for the Saucers. Let's go bottom nine. Adamas, who hit the home run earlier, is going to pop up here. Oh, oh. Count, by the way. Yeah. First pitch swinging. Well, I mean, Cisnero is getting these quick mm -hmm. outs. So, like, why take him out of the game? Yeah, we need to be more patient here when we just have not been. It's, it's taking him two pitches in this inning. We only got 16 pitches for Cisnero. He's thrown, uh, I believe, two innings at this point. So, Reyes, we got to start taking some pitches here. 1 0 pitch, and that's oh, a deep no. drive to Lee. He's got it. And now I'm starting to feel a little pressure because that was our heart of the order oh. there, our best part of the order. And now hey you lay a bunt down. Robinson makes the play, but not enough on it. And Kyder Falefa. With an infield bunt. Well, I couldn't Single. hit with him, so uh, why not try to bunt? Uh, Junker Lee's going to rip one to, to uh, straightaway center. So you got one two count. Pete Alonso at the plate. That was a great pitch to hit. Oh my God. Well, I met it. Woo. So Hunter. Oh, oh. The red. Get back in the green. Oof. Scary times. Scary times. Bryce Ball up against the lefty. Morion is going to get the final out of the 10th. All right. So bottom 10 we go. Already one out here. Evan Carter comes up. Ground ball. Cisnero still pitching. Oh, God. Oh! You beat him by a step. Wow. Marcano, you got lucky. Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. Lugo going to fly out. So, like, Cisnero is a middle relief guy. Basically pitching the long relief today. Max Stassi. Ooh. Full count. Right, I'm too fast. I don't want to give you a fastball. I just don't want to do it, but we do it oh, here. Oh, yes. You mother. Stassi. God, I hate this guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. You just miss the yellow bar by a little bit, and the game says it's a magnet over to Stassi's center cut fastball. Thank it's you. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Paris Chica says, you, you can read his lips. F. Yeah. He says that. Thank you, Drama oh, Engine. Very um, cool. Believable. So we will put in Jim Farron, which we probably should have done right there anyway. He's perfect on the year as this far as a, saves and opportunities go. Recurring theme with us is managing the bullpen. We have managing to the work take the guys out when you feel that it needs to be done. But Farron's going to go one, two, three. I mean, it was just pretty simple. I'm playing with fire with Morion. There's a reason why he's got a 10 ERA. Don't leave pitched. him out there. Don't leave him out there for because more than you had him as a setup guy. And he never pitches. Ugh. All right, Araldis Chapman comes in with a six six ERA. I'm giving him the chance to close this game out. Unbelievable. And if he doesn't get this done, I'm getting rid of him. All right. Well, lefty on righty. Jorge Soler loves to mash against lefties, and it's power on power. And Soler is going to win the battle here. Base knock makes him, makes me look like a genius here at this point. The tying run is at first. The winning run is at the plate. So Dylan Moore is going to pinch hit for Solaire. We do have a base hit for Brody Boatwright. And Lee can't play it in left. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Dylan Moore is going to score. Boatwright going for third with one down. He's in there. All we need, baby, is a fly ball. And we can win this thing. Brody Boatwright. The prospect line drive should have been at least a double, but Lee lets it go to the wall. Yeah, I should have put Jose in. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get this thing up. Let's let's finish this here. Okay. Adamas, you needed to take the bat off the shoulders, kid. We need a fly ball. Oh. And Hosmer. 
Oh man. And okay, I so I, I don't know what the, gone. What is that? <laughs> Chapman's gone. Well, yes, well, Chapman's well, gone. What a little tantrum. Yeah, uh, yeah, just a touch here. But top twelve. Hosmer still in the game despite the tantrum. <laughs> Makes the easy play. Got it. Got to get your head right now. Got to get your head right. We're we're coming up here on the top of the order for the saucers. Connor Flafa pop out to first. Broken bat. Top twelve. Farron's still out there. And Hosmer, another ground ball, takes care of business. So, guys, it's Leclerc and Reyes. Bottom 12, we're hunting fastballs, baby. That is a deep drive to deep center field, and that baby is gone. Orlando will walk it off, and Fran Mil Reyes has been the hero in this series. 459 to the deepest part in center field. Oh, my. Bottom eight, he hits the two-run homer to take the lead after Pete Alonso's hit two-run shot. And now the walk-off. Yeah, good for him. You can't get him out. You know, that pitch was supposed to be a little bit higher than it was. But I, I didn't think you could meet those kinds of pitches. Because I, I can't. So, but, I mean, all you have to do is just nudge your cursor, but I tend to kind of overdo you it. Just, so. You just gotta, you just got to glide it, you know. You can't yeah. can't jab at it. you got to glide it. So, I, yeah, I, th I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher for you to catch up to that. And it wasn't. Well, it's uh, when you're hunting fastballs, man, you can do some damage. So, from Reyes, two home runs in this series, and, man, they were big ones. But let's talk about the box score here. We got Stassi with a double, Marcano with a double. The two home runs, Bryce Ball and Stassi, I mean, the Bryce Ball home run kind of set the tone for you guys, taking control of the game. And then the home run for Stassi, like, I thought this thing was over. But Well, Boatwright was one of the players of the game for you, two for five with a ribby and uh, some good defense out there as well. And the yep. triple did get caught stealing, but be that as it may. Unbelievable that Tyler Glass now struck you guys out 12 times, but still did not qualify for the win. Yeah, this is how it rolls, man. Okay, so we are going to simulate up to the trade deadline. You're on a bit of a run here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are three games back from 500 heading into the trade deadline. So we got some decisions to make. Like, where do we stand? Do we want to make a move? Or, like, what are we going to do? You guys are going to make a move. And you're, again, packaging some of your older vets for some starting pitching. It looks like you want to go after Simeon Woods Richardson from the Giants. Well, I mean, he's 24 years old. Uh, the players I'm giving up aren't particularly good <laughs> at this stage in their careers. I mean, McCutcheon's kind of a specialist. Smiley, not very good. And Chapman, not very good. Yep. So I think that's kind of a fair deal for a Giants team that's trying to get in the wild card mix. So. Now, after the trade, you do have two extra roster spots available. You've got Randall James sitting here. He's Getting his batting average up, and he's an 82 overall player. I mean, yeah, he's sitting down there in AAA. He had 28 homers. I think he's earned it. Definitely would like to see the batting average inch up a little bit, but we're going to throw him in the fire, see how he handles it. 99, we're batting him eighth. 99 power against left handers. Yeah, that's, that's cool. ridiculous. And we're going to let Woods Richardson get a look there and called up Yeri De Los Santos as well. I mean, he's. Overall, not very good, but he is pitching very well in AAA. So I said, eh, what the heck? Give it a shot. Now, we are looking to acquire some starting pitching, like a top-of-the-line starter. Trevor Rogers was on the block, and they're just asking for way too much. So we just decided to back out of that trade. I didn't want to give up our prospects there. Ty France is a guy that I'm looking at. He can play second, can play third. Obviously, a first baseman for us, too. Um, would definitely help our offense out big time. But we do have to consider one prospect, at least, to give them here. Is it Kyron Paris or is it Khalil Watson? And with Jace Fines being kind of an older vet type of guy, could give him some bullpen stability back there. Michael Hermosillo's a good defender. We've got, we got some decisions to make there. Um, you know, you and I talked and we were like, you know what, maybe Jace Fines is not a good enough piece. We're, we're gonna throw in Tanner Bybee in here. This felt like the trade just didn't make sense with Jace Fines, kind of older, Bybee being a prospect. You, you put Bybee in there with Khalil Watson and it makes sense. So we are gonna acquire Ty France and Bybee just hasn't been a guy that's cut it. His ERA is terrible. He only has three pitches, just has not lived up to Tanner Bybee in real life. So. Good trade for both squads here. Sun Sox, we get Ty France, and he has made an impact. 
wild card situation. We are seven games back. Saucers, on the other hand, they don't look like they're making the postseason. Hey, it's not our fault we play in a tougher league than you do. Ow. Okay. That, that's how you feel. Let's take a look at some of our prospects that we drafted. So Miguel Rosales, one of our, actually our top guy, has an 89 potential. He's our best dude that we drafted. He's a 62 overall. Could have been better, but I'll take that. Nino Carmona, a C potential player. I don't really like that, but Jose Calderon, maybe one of our better picks here. 81 potential, and he's in mid-60s. Uh, Joaquin Brown is going to be a guy, a specialist guy, that's just going to be kind of a flash in the pan, dude, because those D potential players, they do regress. You know, it, it's kind of sad to see because he's going to get called up, I would assume, to be a bench guy. That vision, the power, the speed, the stealing, he could just be a guy that's kind of a role player for a little while, and then he flames out, you know. But we'll see how it, how it all pans out for him. You got Neil Landry, he's a 79 potential, he's a 50 overall, and then Randall Dorman. I'm not too high on Randall Dorman, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's, oh. he's a career minor leaguer. But this dude, holy mother, this guy fell to you. Yeah. A 99 potential, Ricky Sutton catcher? Look at these numbers. He's gonna be he's gonna be up with you next year. Okay. All right. Johnny Bench, Mike Piazza. You can't leave this guy in the minors. No, Ricky Sutton. Not like a Randall James. He's just marinating down there. This he guy can marinate a little bit. Th dude, these are legit numbers. He's gonna start in high A, and then we we'll take it from there next year. Okay. That's insane, dude. I have I told you when we saw the potential there. I was like, oh, my, I've never seen this. I've never seen. In a draft class, a user, like, be able to draft one of these guys. Well, I will say, check out the other picks, because, uh, yeah, Ricky will make up for these other picks. Well, it's not it's not terrible, because Juarez, I mean, 50 with 87, that's oh. that's doable. But Link, not so much. Uh, 40 overall, B potential. He might. This is a bad draft. I think Ricky makes up for it all. <laughs> Possibly. It's, it's a wash. But, guys, that is it for the video today. Leave a like if you like this thing. A lot of things to cover here. And I think we, we did a good job getting through it all. Uh, before you know it, we're going to be in a playoff push for the Sun Sox. And Saucers, we're just trying to see, like, what that youth is going to look like um, for the future, for next season, season four. So a lot of stuff to cover here in the next episode, too. So make sure you guys are tuning back in here. Leave a like if you like this thing. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and peace.